Good morning, Trojans. Today's date is January 7th, and it's an A-Day. I'm Mia Vaughn. And I'm Atticus everson Berman. Our quote today is from Betty White, an actress and comedian who died at the age of 99 a few days ago. She had this to say about friendship. Quote, friendship takes time and energy if it's, not, if it's going to work. You can luck into something great, but it doesn't last if you don't give it proper appreciation. Friendship can be so comfortable, but nurture it. Don't take it for granted. Unquote. In local news, the recent rains have improved the water situation here in Sonoma County and have those in charge of our water resources, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in Sonoma Water, hopeful that we will see a return back to normal this year. The two main reservoirs, Lake Mendocino and Lake Sonoma, are both at more than 60% of their limit. Unfortunately, all of that snow in Tahoe and the Sierras won't help us because our water comes from the Eel and Russian River watersheds. But if we continue to get more rain this spring, the outcome gets even better. In national news, yesterday was the one-year anniversary of the attack on the Capitol in Washington, D.C. At the time, supporters of former President Trump forced their way into the Capitol, past barricades and police lines, in an attempt to stop Congress from legally certifying the election. It was a day that shocked this country and has continued to divide our citizens. Many of the participants were arrested and charged with various crimes depending on their actions that day. Congress convened to investigate the attack with the goal to hold those accountable for those in the attack. Their investigation is ongoing and we have no idea when they will share the results or conclusions. In international news, countries around the world are struggling to contain the spike in people infected with COVID due to the highly contagious Omicron variant. The United Kingdom, France, and Spain have all reported their highest infection rates since the start of the pandemic. In Brazil, the famous Rio Carnaval has been canceled for the second year in a row. As always, simple precautions can prevent the spread. Wear a mask, wash your hands, and please practice social distancing. Students, your 10,000 Degrees Advisor is now available Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the College and Career Center. Please feel free to book an appointment through Calendly. We'll put the Calendly link in this video's description or drop by so they can answer any college or career questions. Make sure to follow on Instagram 10kd underscore pedaluma for any updates or to book appointments. Seniors, remember to submit your financial aid applications and the 10kd scholarship. The Petaluma High Music Department is having a benefit concert at the Mystic Theater in Petaluma on Saturday, January 5th. It's an all-ages show and vaccination is required to attend. The doors open at 7 p.m. with the show beginning at 8. All proceeds from the concert benefit the PHS music program. Tickets are only $20 and can be purchased online or directly from Mr. Eveland in the PHS Band and Choir Room in the D-Wing. We have a link to the online ticket purchase location in this video's description. Come out and have a great time and support the music at Petaluma High. The County of Sonoma Commission of the Status of Women is seeking applicants for Junior Commissioner Project for the 2022-2023 school year. The project served as a learning experience for students regarding issues of women's equity while empowering youth to find their voice. The Commission is particularly interested in encouraging diversity and is actively seeking youth who could help us broaden participation in this project. Junior Commissioner Project applications are available in English and Spanish and we have included links in this video's description. The deadline for applications is March 28, 2022. The city is updating the general plan and they need your help. Please take a few minutes to share your ideas for Petaluma's future. You can scan this QR code or click the link in the description below. The survey will remain open through January 16th. Our club update starts with the Environmental Club, which meets today at lunch in room F13. Everyone is welcome, so go check it out. And that's it for today's program. Stay safe out there, Trojans, and make, make it, it a, a great, great day. day.